Today we're going to be making a pair of V-bit tongs from our Rapid Tong series that's available at kensiron.com. These are a little bit thinner material than our Quick Tong series. Uh, the V-bits, this is a pretty nice light little light duty little tong for using smaller iron. Uh, you're able to grab a uh, quarter inch round, some 3A square. This is quarter by half. Um, it'll grab multiple sizes. They're a nice, nice light duty tong. So let's go make a pair of tongs. We're going to start by making a chisel mark down the center of our jaw. We need to split this open. So we're going to clamp this in the vise and use our, our hot chisel. And we're going to put a mark in the center on this end and then a mark on the other end. And then we're going to use uh, the chisel just to connect the dots and chisel a little groove right down the center. Now when we heat this up we'll have a a mark to go off of. We've got our blanks marked with our chisel mark. Now we need to heat this blank up and use our hot chisel to split this jaw about a quarter of an inch down. Now we need to open up our jaw. We're going to do that on a sharp corner of the anvil. Uh, we'll heat them up. Uh, use your left hand to hold the tong up against the up against the anvil and your hammer is going to come down at about a 45 and just hit it once and then you can look at it. You don't want to use multiple blows like this. You just want to use one blow and hit it. That way you can readjust either your tong or your hammer blow so that you can open up the jaw evenly. So now we need to put a slight offset in the jaw area. To do that, we're going to heat up our blank, we'll bring it out, lay it on the anvil so that the, the split open jaw is to our right, and we're going to line up the back side of the jaw here with the edge of the anvil, and use our hammer to tap this down just a little bit. Now you want to try not to hit this part, focus your hammer blows on this part of the jaw. We'll just give it a little tap. And then we're going to rotate it 180 degrees and slide it forward so that we're on this part of the, of the hinge area lines up with the edge of the anvil. And hit this down with one light tap. Then we'll slide it forward to the back side of the hinge area, lines up with the edge of the anvil. And give that a light tap and then we'll rotate it back 180 degrees and slide it forward about a quarter of an inch and give that a slight tap. We have both blanks offset now. We want to try to line up the center of your split with this edge edge of the hinge area. Just needs to be close, doesn't need to be perfect because we will readjust that when we rivet the two halves together. 
So now the next step is to heat up the reins area and round these off. drawn out now we need to uh, mark the center of our hinge area and drill a quarter inch hole Now it's time to rivet the tongs together. Uh, we just put the two halves together. I like to use a rivet set for riveting. And I'll use my hammer, my forging hammer to set the rivet. And then I'll heat the rivet up and use my ball peen hammer to do the actual riveting. So let's rivet them together. I'll put these in the forge, put this side down in the forge if you have a coal fire. We've got our rivet hot. I'm going to push down on this top plank with my left hand to hold it tight and I'll use my ball peen hammer to rivet the top side of this rivet. ease them a little bit. Now we'll take one or two more heats and size up our tongs. Now I'm going to reheat the jaws. I've got a piece of 3A square. I'm going to hold in these jaws and use my hammer to tap these ends down a little bit here and then I'll flip it over, give it another little tap so we can get the jaws tight around the 3A square. If your jaws get a little bit of out of a line or get a little bit of a twist in them, you can use your twisting wrench to grab the jaw and twist it one way or the other to get your jaws to line up. Now we're going to take one final adjustment on our tongs. We'll heat the, uh, heat the tongs back up to about here, keep a little bit shorter heat. We'll put the tongs in the vise flatways this way and squeeze that to bring the jaws together and then we can line up the reins. We want to keep everything in a, a straight line, a center line through the jaws and the rivet and the reins. Then we'll take it out, turn it 90 degrees, grab it this way, and straighten up everything this way so everything is in line this way.
Well, we've got our tongs finished now. We've got a final adjustment on aligning them. We wire brushed them. They're ready to go to work. So thanks for watching our video. I hope you learned something from it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure you comment in the comment section below.